Hello everybody, this is JD, or JD the Artsy Rose, and welcome back to Philip's happy birthday. Oh. So, I have five tickets, and I am ready to use them for this little bitty spinoff. We are having a birthday party for Philip. Celebrate with wonderful friends and make it a happy day. Happy birthday, Philip. Philip, happy birthday. Normal ending. A spinoff. Hmm. I awake from my sleep of all times. I awake from my dream of all times. To the sight of a familiar ceiling. Next to me lies Philip, sleeping softly. His face looks a little more mature than it did then. It's been so long since I've dreamed of my past. After that point, I died. I died without ever once telling Philip I loved him. I never gave him that glove for his birthday either. Ah! I cry out softly when I realize something. Today's March 22nd. That's Philip's birthday. Is that why I dreamt what I did? Good morning. Philip speaks in a drowsy voice. My whelp must have awoken him. Good morning, Philip. I'll get breakfast going. I start to rise out of bed. Philip wraps his arms softly around me. We're not in any hurry, are we? But my greatest joys in life is spending time with you in this sea of soft sheets. How could I say no to that sweet heart melting smile? I know what you mean. I nestle into his chest. I could spend all day like this, snuggled into a ball with you like a pair of cats. If you do that, I'll forget how to walk. I hear Philip chuckle softly over my head. I suppose so. You've never been one to sit still for very long. You were always running around. You make it sound as though I were a wild horse. <laughs> I used to love the way you run. He pats my head smoothingly. I smell the same sunny smell I did then. I close my eyes. Asking him a feeling of contentment. Philip goes to the library. I head to the castle after seeing him off. I want to celebrate Philip's birthday. I wonder how they do it here in Nifalhom. Maybe Sunny would know. I find Sunny doing push ups in the castle courtyard. 51, 52, 53. Hello, Sunny. Why, hello there, Miss Jandy. She stops at push-ups and rises with a num nonchalant look. How do you do? Oh, was I interrupting? I'm sorry. Not at all. I've already met my quota for the day. I was just doing an extra round since I still have the energy to spare. You're already strong as it is, yet you never slack off in your training. How admirable. You know nothing. Sunny points at me accusingly. Humans, dead ones included, grow weaker every day. I have to work to maintain my current strength, to say nothing of making myself stronger. Do you understand now? Er... Uh. Yes? I nod, dented by Sunny's imposing demeanor. It's the same with love. If you rest on your laurels just because you have the love of a lover, there's no telling when some hossy will 
barge in and steal him right from under you. Are you speaking of me and Philip? Do you see anyone else here? You've always got your head in the clouds. Granted, Mr. Third Class Poet's been carrying a torch for you for a thousand years, so I doubt he'd leave you very easily. Say, Sunny, could I ask you something? Yes? I went through this before, I can do this without a problem. See, I have a clover. I have a clover. Yay! <laughs> Philip's birthday is today, and I want to celebrate it. How do you do that here? Birthday? Sunny quirks her eyebrows. There's no such thing as a birthday party in Niflheim. Really? What's the point in celebrating your birthday when you're already dead? Oh. For what it's worth, we do have to called death days instead. Death day? That sounds rather morbid. It's actually what it sounds like, a celebration of the day you died. How very surreal. It's more of a ceremony than a party, really. I need to pray that your body doesn't rot any more than it already has. That still sounds very important. Goodness, I still want to treasure that memory, though. Hmm. I don't know how different the, uh, Niflheim, uh, I don't know how different this will be if we do the Niflheim style, but, uh, we could check that out through the next run. Or we could just take a little sample when I repeat the chapter. Celebrate his birthday instead. Back then, I was a child who got hung up on the silliest things. Well, I think I could do better. I have things I still need to do. The point lost if I didn't do it on his birthday. Maybe it's a strange thing to celebrate a birthday in Nibelheim. But I want to do it. Hey, there's no law stopping you from doing it. Sunny. The men are all in the throne room right now. Why don't you ask them about it? Alright, I'll do just that. And let's see what would happen if I did this. I wonder what this would imply. I know this would change the whole thing, but well, this is mom. If birthdays are what people, ce if death days are what people celebrate, then I should probably follow suit. Not everyone is expected to follow that custom, mind you. Not everyone is expected to follow that custom, mind you. And you're an odd princess. It would be odder for you to go with the trends. Sunny. I say do whatever you want. Thank you, Sunny. I think I'll celebrate Philip's birthday instead. Oh, so... Okay, okay, so there isn't a... There isn't like a, a third... A third unique route. Okay. Men are all in the front room right now. Why don't you ask them right... Why don't you ask them about it? Alright, I'll do just that. In the throne room, I found I find the king, Orlando, JJ, and Skeletano. Nice to see you, Jandy. The king waves cheerfully when he spots me. It's good to see you, your highness. What's wrong? Did the desire to see me arise all of a sudden? Granted, that happens all the time with the ladies in Nibelheim. I cannot help but envy the incredible, the incredible gleefulness of your thought process, your majesty. Then he gave me a compliment. That wasn't a compliment. The princess wishes to celebrate Mr. Third Class Poet's birthday. His birthday? Not his death day? She has a special bit. Hmm. I guess this is pretty close to the time that Philip went full dead on us. Full 
not dead. That's quite a way to describe it. Well, he did stay in Nifelheim while he was alive. He pretended to be dead. He ever caught on it. Not bad for a hack poet. The people of Nifelheim are so lively, it'd be hard to tell them apart from the living. With some exceptions, of course, like this rotten zombie over here, for example. Is there truly such a thing as the lively dead? Take our king! He's the only all the dead here, but he's brimming with life! Ah, uh, yeah, that's not too far from the truth. Well, uh, I guess this kind of completes the, uh, this kind of completes my collection. I guess once I get the opportunity, we'll start. Sunday, we'll start, we'll start the sweet ending. We'll get the sweet ending. I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.